You older people know them, bear with us, I'm saying. By the time you have children, by the time you have uh, made a way for your children, by the time you've paid for your home, you're pushing 60 years old. So life is real short. So you add up all your traveling, add up all your sleeping, add up all your school, add up all your entertainment, you've probably been half your life doing nothing. So what am I, I'll, I'm 35 years old, 30 more years I'll be 65. We don't have no more influence. We can't do nothing much at 65. Your wife will tell you that. So what I'm saying, when you're 65, when you're 65, ain't too much more to do. So did you know I'll be 65 in 30 more years? In those 30 years, I have to sleep nine years. I don't have 30 years of daylight. I have to travel back to America, take six, seven miles. All my traveling, probably four years of traveling in the next 30 years, about nine years of sleeping, television, movies, entertainment, about three years of entertainment. Out of 30 years, I might have about 16 years to be productive. So it's how we can all break individual lives down. What am I gonna do in the next 16 years? What's the best thing I can do? Get ready to meet God. Owning real estate, going in business, teaching boxers, that won't get me to heaven. mentally dead and this is happening all over the world but the first place that will rise will be the black people in America and then the rest of them will but it's going to be, I, I was one who heard the truth and when I heard the truth about my name was not Cassius Clay like like uh, I know a black man in America named John Hawkins now you know who John Hawkins was he was a slave trader from England but the, the white people Well, society has made us different. No, not society. God made us different. No, no, we're just human beings. He made all of us. We all listen. Blue birds fly with blue birds. Red birds want to be with red birds. <laughs> listen, listen. Tell me when I'm wrong. Pigeons want to be with pigeons. But tell we me have when I'm wrong. Well, we I, have an well we must. They, well, we should have have. Have more, right, they don't have intelligence, but yet no. they stay together. We should have more intelligence than them, right? to stay the same who want to spot up yourself and kill your race you you a hate of your people if you don't want to stay who you are you shame what god made you god didn't make no mistake when he made us all like we I, were I, listen no woman on this whole earth not even a black woman in Muslim countries can please me and cook for me and socialize and talk to me like my american black woman no woman at last is a white woman other fighters they just don't take part they make a million dollars they get them a Rolls Royce they get them a nice home they get them a white wife well I made it America's great and the rest of them catching hell and he won't say nothing but when one man of popularity can let the world know the problem he can uh, he might lose a few dollars himself telling the truth he might lose his life but he's helping millions but if I kept my mouth shut just because I can make millions and then this ain't doing nothing so I just love the freedom and the flesh and blood of my people more so than I do the money You told everybody I don't have a chance. You told them I don't have nothing but a prayer. Well, chump, all I need is a prayer because if that prayer reached the right man, not only will George Fulman fall, but mountains will fall. There are many white people who mean right and in heart want to do right, but there are so few. If 10,000 rattlesnakes was coming down that aisle now, and I had a door here I could shut, and in that 10,000, 1,000 meant right. 1,000 rattlesnakes didn't want to bite me. I knew they were good. Should I let all these rattlesnakes come down, hoping that that 1,000 get together and form a shield? Or should I just close the door and stay safe? I think that, that you understand the Viet Cong are not all bad, but America still dropping bombs in Hiroshima. The Japan wasn't bad, but she still dropped the bomb in Korea. They weren't bad, but they still dropped the bomb. So now I'm going to forget the 400 years of lynching and killing and raping. And
it's not Cassius Clay. Like, like uh, I know a black man in America named John Hawkins. Now, you know who John Hawkins was. He was a slave trader from England. But the white, the white people at that time, if one had five slaves and his name was Jones, they would be called Jones property. If you was auctioned off to Mr. Smith, your name was Smith. Identifying you as property of certain masters. So now that I'm free, now that I'm no longer a slave, then I want a name of my ancestors, mm -hmm. Muhammad Ali. Like a Chinese, how would a Chinese look named Robert Smith? <laughs> <laughs> how, would, how would a German look named Edward Goldberg? <laughs> a Jewish name. So like, uh, when I heard that we don't have our names, we don't speak our true Arabic language, we were robbed of Islam, our true religion, and we've been made deaf.